This is Kodak T-Max P3200. While the box speed is 3200, this is actually a nominal 1000 speed film. It responds so well to pushing that Kodak markets this as a 3200 speed film. And it's actually in the name. The P in P3200 stands for push, which got me thinking. Have I been saying this incorrectly all these years? Is this actually Kodak P Ortra 400? I mean, what does Portra even mean? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. 400. This is some Kodak Portra 400 shot at box speed. It's Portra. We've all seen it before. What I want you to look at are the negatives. This is what properly exposed and properly developed normal color negative film looks like. I'm specifically talking about the density and the color of the film base. 800. This is pushed one stop. If you look at the negatives, it still looks good. The base is a similar color and the density on most of these shots are good. But when you look at the scans, they're a little bit warmer than box speed. Next, I want you to look at this color chart. Here's what it should look like. All you have to pay attention to are these three squares. This is the red, green, and blue squares. And this is what Portra 400 looks like when it's pushed one stop. The green and the blue squares look fine, but the red, it's more of an orange color. While some of the reds in these shots still rendered out as what I would consider true red, it's worth noting and keeping an eye out on. 1600. The negatives still look fine, the base is a slightly different color, not sure how well it comes out on camera, but to the naked eye there is a subtle difference. And you can start to tell that a good number of these shots are now slightly underexposed. And looking at the scans, they're generally okay, but it's starting to fall apart. The colors are shifting a bit, there is this red cast, and it's easy enough to correct out, but I'm going to share the uncorrected stuff as a point of reference. But overall, you know, it looks fine, I guess. Thirty two hundred. Now we're starting to see a fairly noticeable change in the negatives. First off, the base is turning brown. It's not that vibrant orange that was once full of life and promise, and instead it's this. And the second thing to look at is the density. Underexposed frames are happening more and more frequently. We're also quickly losing detail in the shadows. For some of these shots, I was using a six stop ND filter. I don't think it played a role in the thin negatives, but I just thought it's worth mentioning just in case there's some weird physics involved that I'm unaware of. And also, if some of the compositions are a little wonky, I blame it on the filter because I couldn't see anything. 1600. If you look at this color chart shot, there's a couple interesting things. First is keeping track of the red square's descent into orangeness, and second, these color chart shots were shot in the same lighting setup and conditions, and this one is coming out underexposed. I took a second shot, but this one was exposed at box speed, and it came out like this. In this case, the red turned into yellow, I'm not really sure what to make of that. The density looks a lot better than this one, which is noticeably underexposed. Either I could have underexposed it, underdeveloped it, or the film has hit its limit. 6400. This is more the same, but worse. More contrast, less detail in the shadows, stronger red cast.
If you look at the negatives, the base is starting to look like it's been sitting out in the sun for too long. A lot of the frames are thin and a lot of underexposure. About half the shots came out all right, while the other half, not so much. I feel like it's a crapshoot whether or not the shot is going to come out or not. 12,800. This roll is not having a good time. For starters, this was developed for 20 minutes. And for context, a roll that was shot at box speed and developed normally takes three and a half minutes. That is all to say that this was in the soup for far too long. And because of that, if you look at the film base, it's not great. If you told me this film was 15 years expired, I would believe you. This roll is absolutely cooked. But I'm actually kind of glad this happened. As I developed the 3200 and the 6400, there was a little doubt in the back of my mind. What if these rolls were coming out thin because I was underdeveloping the film? And while that could still be the case, on the flip side, I intentionally overdeveloped this roll and it still came out thin. What I think is going on is there just isn't any additional info to pull from the film. Silver is only so sensitive to light and at a certain point, it's just not capturing anything, which I think is very evident with these thin negatives. But if you look at the scans, it is not good. It is substantially worse than 6400. Part of that is because it is just becoming so underexposed that there's just not much detail there. And the other part is this funky base. Combine these two things together and you get this. The only things that were captured were stuff that would normally just been blown out highlights. And anything in the shadows and the midtones just get lost in the mess. Some of these horribly underexposed shots can be salvaged as long as you don't care about color accuracy, graininess, fine details, or general image quality. But out of this whole mess, I managed to get one shot that I thought was okay. This one could have been okay as well if everything wasn't bad. And the one thing I remember about this shot was that I made it a point to meter for the shadows. Now what does any of this mean? While I can't say for certain, I could speculate. The film can handle about a two-stop push while still having what I would consider usable density. There's still a color shift, but it's manageable at that point. So where does that leave us? If you underexpose your portrait 400 up to about four stops, you could still somewhat salvage it with a heavy emphasis on somewhat and salvage. Well, I'm starting to get a sneaking suspicion that this film may not be designed for pushing. Is this worth doing? I mean, if you like to waste all your money.